and then this is what he said after that <laughs> Okay, so if you're an Igbo person, explain to me what is the meaning. I'm a buga, I'm a buga, I'm a buga, I'm a buga. There's this yeah. way Igbo sound. So yeah. when you're trying to sound like an Igbo, but you're saying rubbish. <laughs> I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> when you're... <laughs> DJ Paco Rich. Hello, my people. My name is DJ Paco Rich. Welcome to your favorite channel. As we try to entertain you, we educate you, we have fun, we do all stuff that you really, 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 really want us to do right here on this channel. We appreciate your positive comments. Yes, and I'm sure people are going to ask this question. Where did you get the NYSC t-shirt? Please don't ask me that question because I don't have the answer. If you want to ask anybody, I'll bring a man on this set. When I bring him on, his name is Victor. He's in Nigeria. He worked with Fresh FM. Ask him where he did his service and where I did my service and why I'm still wearing my NYSC shirt. Okay. So guys, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And also there is a new channel called Breakdown with Victor. That's the channel, YouTube channel of my partner in Nigeria. Doing amazing stuff there. You can check him out and all that. So today we are going to do something. You see, people always, they talk about scam. People always, they talk about 419. People always, they talk about lies and all that. So there is a legendary musician in Ghana. I mean, with, with 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 all due respect, I mean, we respect him to the maximum. I'm sure some of the oldies watching this video would appreciate and tell you they know him. But maybe the young guys, few of them would know him, few wouldn't know him. His name is called Nana Ampedu. And if you don't know Nana Ampedu, this is Nana Ampedu. In Ghana, we call him the king of all musicians. Yes, he passed away last year and then he's somebody who was very close to the president of ghana so if i tell you he's a big man then you should know i mean in the olden days he was part of the guys that you know relocated to nigeria to do music there I mean, they played all the big shows in Nigeria, all the concerts and all that. Uh, we have the likes of Chief Abrechiba Kofisami. If you don't know Chief Abrechiba Kofisami, he's the one that sang this song. Yellow Sisi Don't Day for the Corner. Put the hand for jaw. Waiting for some money. Palava. Yes, he's not a Nigerian. He's a Ghanaian who went to Nigeria to do music. I mean, he had a lot of great friends in Nigeria. He had family in Nigeria. He was signed to a Nigeria label. So a lot of people actually felt he was a Nigerian, but he's a Ghanaian. And even in this year's Ghana Music Award, he was honored uh, as the lifetime achievement. I mean, there is an award like that. It went to him which means that he served very well. He's not in the best of states now. He's down with stroke and all that. But today, we are still remembering him for his great work. So the reason why I'm asking this question that is this e lyrics that I'm about to play an Igbo language or a scam? Please, let me shout. Igbo Kwenu, Igbo Kwenu, that you say, yeah, yeah. Because I need... Ibos to help me on this conversation. I'm going to play a lyrics, a Ghanaian song, okay, but it has an Igbo lyrics in it. If this lyrics is truly an Igbo lyrics, let me know. If it is not an Igbo lyrics to come out, let me know. Now, let me bring Victor on the line then I will explain to him the reason why I'm about to ask this question about a song that was well promoted in Ghana, produced in Nigeria, but had nothing to do with any Nigerian language. But Ghanaians believe that the language in there was Igbo language. Mm -hmm. Victor, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. 
Victor, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Great. I'm doing very well. You, you're still wearing your NY form. I'm doing very well. You're still wearing your NY When are you going to, to uh, uh, you know, be through with your service? And for those people who don't serve in Nigeria, and those people who don't know where you serve, I'm going to tell them. In fact, you have a Yoruba name from today. Ah, please make your sure your Yoruba you name is. Make sure, make sure you give me two names. One from Igbo land and one from Yoruba. I don't want problem. I will give you both. Yes, I will give you both. For Yoruba, <laughs> your name is DJ Richmond Oluwa Pakorich. Oluwa, Oluwa is involved. Oluwa Pakorich. Oluwa Pakorich. Oluwa is involved. Somebody to the call me Odogu. <laughs> yeah, that that that's that the Igbo. So for the Igbo, your name is DJ Richmond Chuku the Pakorich. Chuku the Pakorich. Chuku the man Pakorich. All right. Chuku the Pakorich. I hear. Let me also give you a, 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 a Ghanaian name which has been adopted by uh, Dibanj. Dibanj, when he comes to Ghana, he calls himself Mensa. So I'm also going to call you Victor Mensa. Your name is as delicious as, you know, some jollof, Ghana jollof <laughs> rice and all that. So today, this is the conversation. Yeah, yeah. Ghana jollof. <laughs> yes. There is this legendary musician called Nana Kwame Ampedu. He released a song in the 80s called Oman Boadro. Oman Boadro means the country is at peace. And um, normally, this statement is made when, let's say, we live in a country, we live in a house where we don't allow people to rest. And finally, if the person passes on, or if we are always troubling somebody, we are always harassing somebody, and if the person dies, then we go like Omar Buadro, mean, meaning, okay, this is what you were looking for. So, Oman Buadro. So, this legendary musician, by then, used to be in Nigeria, you know, to do his music and all that. So, he came back to Ghana with a new record called Oman Buadro. It was done with a label called Africans Band International back in those days. So, in the course of singing the song, he made a statement that I have a friend who is a Nigerian from Igbo, but this song that I'm singing about, he is the one that wrote these lyrics for me in Igbo language. So, let me invite him to come and sing the song in Igbo. And then the man came in and he shouted, Oh God, may we go? He said all that he could say in the song. I'm going to play the song to you guys so that you diagnose it, open it, dissect it, and listen if this is truly an Igbo language. If it is not an Igbo language, please write it under the comment section. Victor, if this is an Igbo language, be honest with me and tell me. If it's not an Igbo language, let me know. So, this is the song. <laughs> So that was when he said, which means this song that I'm singing, it's an Igbo friend of mine who gave me the lyrics of this song. And then this is what he said after that. Okay, so for the benefit of those who don't understand the Ghanaian language, I'm going to do the translation. And he said, and he's here. So I'm going to invite him to sing this song in Igbo language. And this is the Igbo language Nanam Pedus man from Nigeria presented to us. Okay, now. Make you go. Okay, so if you're an Igbo person, explain to me what is the meaning. I'm a muga, 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 I'm a guy. Then let's listen. Okay, so 
Awa wa langa langa nga wo Dansaji Ki se danse Ani wala 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 wo Ani wala 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 wo Ani wario Amana ye ye Amana ye 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 Hello Wario go kare kachio Ago Ago Please Tell me the Igbo lines you have in this song, Victor. <laughs> My grandfather do me Beautiful song. Amana, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Amana, yeah. Now, for one, yeah. It's the introduction for me. The way you hear that is huh? very funny. You see, what I, what I, what I see from this song is this man want to bring the evil uh, vibes into you know when, when you are speaking evil yeah in in such a way there's there's this there's this tone there's yeah. this way evil sound so yeah. when you're trying to sound like an evil but you are saying rubbish <laughs> i don't know if you understand what i'm saying <laughs> when you're when, when you're saying rubbish but you're trying to sound like an evil so yeah. to somebody who doesn't understand evil they will think you are speaking evil yeah because you sound exactly the way Igbos will sound when they speak. Yeah. You understand? So yeah. I just see him trying to, trying to, you know, <laughs> trying to use gimmicks and trying to use, um, you know, ed ed elderly wisdom, like yeah. cold man wisdom. Yeah. He's trying to, you know, trying to be dynamic, trying okay. to be creative <laughs> okay. with Igbo language. Now let me tell you something about this song. It took almost about close to 30 years, 40 years. We every Ghanaian, every single Ghanaian in this country thought that line in that song was an Igbo language. It was a typical Nigerian language. And funny enough, Nigerians that love this song, okay, they also thought that this is a Ghanaian language with that Igbo feeling with that Igbo vibe so two ways Nigerians think it is Ghanaian <laughs> Ghanaians think it is Nigerian but in real sense yeah. there was nothing it was just melodic rhymes rubbish this man this man is supposed to enter Guinness book of record yes yeah, so He's been able to lie to, <laughs> but he did well. Before he passed away, he went for a radio interview and then he confessed that this yeah. words that he used were not actually Nigerian language. It was him playing around, trying to trick people that he has Nigerian friends. So, guys, if you're looking at how far Ghana and Nigerian have been playing with each other, this should tell you that not be today. <laughs> not be today. Not so, be today. Not be today. <laughs> not be today. It's so today. That jollof fries fight. That one don't be fight. <laughs> now. That proper, proper, proper. See, let me show you something. Now, this be Ghanaians way they, they go to uh, uh, Ghanaians from Nigeria to Ghana. See the way they, they sit for back top. Somebody will say after all these things, you know, we won't be friends again. See, Ghana and Nigerians, when you go and meet them fighting, my brother pass away. After that, they will go inside. If it's a man and a woman, the next thing you hear the man screaming, ah, ah, I'm a Nigerian, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Yeah. I'm you, you make a third person. <laughs> when you come to Ghana, let me be very honest with you, when you come to Ghana, eh, Ghanaian girls prefer Nigerian guys. I'm telling you this, and if you know anybody living in Ghana, you can ask that person that question. And so, this is a bit of history. This is a bit of exciting news, entertainment, something. I mean, you haven't heard before, but all the same, Ghana and Nigeria, it's so lovely to find us doing so many things just to please each other. I'm sure Nanam Pedu was doing this to please his Nigerian fans just to make them feel that. I mean, 
when you read history there are lots of people in nigeria that have changed their names they are Ghanaians, but they've changed their names to bear nigerian names because they want to feel belonged and even here in ghana there are lots of nigerians who are holding Ghanaian passport with Ghanaian names even though it's illegal even though it's illegal but i mean they find it very comfortable for example you can arrest a nigerian in america and then try to deport him he will tell you i'm from ghana because he doesn't want to go back to nigeria or more they go see the deporter he prefer coming to his brothers at ghana the same thing they can deport Ghanaians, and he doesn't want to come straight to ghana you tell them i'm from nigeria because i mean there are some similarities in culture and stuff like that so guys if you're an Igbo person and you watch this video kindly let us know in the comment section if you've heard this song before did it sound like Igbo to you or you were confused yourself let me know yourself in the comment section but before we end victor tell them about your new channel the breakdown with victor the new youtube channel that we are growing okay uh thank you very much uh but please i i, I would like to ask you if you will okay. please when we are rounding up this show please can we round up with that song again okay i'll play it a little bit <laughs> i can see it's your favorite now <laughs> it's my favorite now i can tell all you that right, right. so break, i'll send break it down to you Victor again into... on your other line so that you do a new video okay ask for people i, I want to i want to i want to play it on my station i want to play right. it on my radio station all right all right yes all right. i like that all song right. all right all right so all right. breakdown with victor is basically about uh you know breaking down um things that has to do with entertainment we talk yeah. about music basically yeah. We yeah. talk about Nigerian entertainment industry. We talk about movie. We talk about uh, music. We talk about lifestyle. We talk yeah. about fashion and what have you. And also, basically, the uh, the old vibes is coming from the streets. So yeah. what we'll be having on the channel is basically the street reactions to, to yeah. Nigerian music and uh, international Nigeria. Crazy. And, um, basically, Crazy. Uh, we're just a video but uh we are still waiting for some reasons to post that video it's about um um reaction of nigerians to um stone boy's new album which is Great. fifth dimension so Great. we went to the streets and we made some observations from the streets we asked people to tell them to tell us their opinion what they feel about the song are they vibing it are they enjoying the vibe of the song Great. and all that Great. so we we're supposed to post it today but for some reason we decided to stop probably we'll post it tomorrow or uh maybe we can still post it today so right. that's just the summary of what breakdown with victor is all right that'll be amazing and then i can't wait to you know let stoneboy know that victor is doing this for him in you know um in nigeria i'll definitely let stoneboy you know i'm sure you definitely appreciate and look out for you and uh, maybe probably we should arrange for an interview for him on fresh fm i'll definitely talk to his wife his wife is a very good friend of yeah you can, you can you can in fact i would love to i would love to i would love to have him on blast fm fresh fm both great. station together great 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 i'll, I'll definitely, if, I'll if, definitely if, talk to available i'll definitely talk to the wife on that so bless up right. victor right, thank you. um stay safe you know what i mean when i say stay safe stay safe yeah for me <laughs> now if still you can't stay safe about go take bus come ghana you know what i mean all right peace guys drop your comments no wala, where you're no wala. Video from. Right. Ghana, I'm you go come down you go come eat jollof where where by Wuba okay. day where by who that day? Sure. She go. <laughs> she go. My woman. <laughs> she there. She there. Make it come do it. DJ. <laughs>